earning money online. Is it feasible? And today I wanted to cover six ways you can make money online. <music> This is Ghost of Agara back again with another video. It is Peso Monday and I'm excited as always. I didn't drink my coffee today, but I'm still excited. I got a lot of energy and this is Duma Life. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Today is Peso Monday. This channel is built for Manga Pinoy's or business people, entrepreneurs alike. But generally speaking, I want to focus on helping out, empowering my Filipino brethren, bros, sis, things like that aside from setting up businesses talking about business i also want to share uh, my mindset how to acquire it i'm always developing myself and things like that and how i can help other filipinos get that you can come from an affluent family but you're not guaranteed a little money right not everybody with a johnson's last name is related to the johnson and johnson's family <laughs> i'm gonna leave that to that Peso monday is really good for people like myself, right? Probably underachievers, not really doing good in school. I was considered a failure for a very long time. I don't even really consider myself a success. I know to some degree I have attained certain assets. However, I'm not there yet. I'm really not. And sometimes I just wanted to put a face to someone who's trying to be successful. When you look at YouTube, especially Filipino entrepreneurs, it's really rare, right? Or or even if not non-Filipinos, they're super successful, Lamborghinis, mansions, or whatever, investments. And I'm not that. I'm a guy who's starting out, just trying my best to make sure that I survive playing the game of investments, playing the game of assets, leveraging certain things, and trying my best to really do my thing. And today, I wanted to cover six ways you can make money online. And there's been many videos out there and things like that, right? But I want to cover these top six that I found and see if they're very feasible, what my thoughts are. And if you like videos like this, comment down below, subscribe, and I can go more in depth one-to-one uh, -one with these topics. So I'm just gonna uh, give you a quick synopsis. Is it feasible for someone like me and potentially someone like you? Number one, blogging and content publishing. This is something that many Filipinos do, many people do. Many people make a living out of it. Some people make like 500,000 pesos or more. You have to understand, blogging, not vlogging, blogging and content publishing, you need to love writing, you need to love literature, you need to love researching. That's something for you to consider when wanting to do this. Me personally, I'm not the best writer. I'm not even really into writing. It wouldn't work for me. I'm just not there, man. I'm just not there. I am one of those guys who's really good with the hands and I like building stuff with my hands. That's why I love vlog vlogging so much because I have equipment, I play around, I play with editing. It's a passion for me, I enjoy it. But blogging and content publishing. Now it doesn't really even have to be just written content, it could be editing it could be so many other things so having those services can elevate your life to a degree uh check out fiber upwork there's many more uh, sites out there that can potentially help you land some clients people have made a really great living off of blogging and content publishing Two, create an online store i have done this i did make some money off of it but obviously understanding marketing understanding promotions very very important can you do it? Yes, you can. Can you fail at it? Yes, you can. Just like Ford said, the individual that says they're right and the individual that says they're wrong are both correct. It's really up to you. Yeah, but understanding the market, how saturated it is, how not saturated it is, understanding supply and demand, things like that. And more importantly, the turnaround for your products when you're selling online. If you're gonna go through Shopify, WooCommerce, and things like that, usually you're getting products from China so sometimes things takes two weeks or more to arrive to you. That was my biggest concern. I didn't want to really spend money into investing in it. it was, I was just dabbling in it. I wasn't really serious at it. And I realized ordering a, let's say, um, headphones might take two to two weeks. And me personally, as a client, as a buyer, consumer, I can't wait that long. I'm pretty impulsive. I want it right now. And for me, that's why it didn't work out. It could work for you. As I said before, I was just what I, I dabbled in it. I wasn't really serious at it, but you see the numerous amount of people have become super successful at it. Amazon FBA, go through Shopify, create your store and things like that. There's multiple 
videos of how to do it, how to set it up, check it out. If you want more videos like this, comment down below. I can really dive into it and really give you a uh, feasibility study on things, pros and cons and stuff like that. Number three, freelancing business. Now this can kind of go with blogging and content publishing. You freelance your work, it's just you being the middleman for this job. So let's say for instance, I have a friend, uh, George, graphic design. Does graphic design for many companies that you know of. There's just a lot of work out there. Why? Price has to be right. Problem is, most Americans know this, whether you like to uh, admit it or not, you don't wanna pay full price. If somebody in the Philippines, India, Bangladesh, Russia, whatever, can do it for a much lower rate, you're good to go. What is, what are you good at freelancing wise that can really make you an income that can be beneficial to your life and potentially life changing? And don't ever think that you don't know anything, whatever, whatever. Somebody's always willing to learn something, right? Like those of you who are into editing, I've been telling my cousin Brian Reamer photography, I'm gonna put his channel right here. Amazing in photography. I told him make a YouTube teach people a lot of people will follow and uh, to be honest crazy CPM rate for you know photography and things like that number four affiliate marketing that's what I do right affiliate videos product reviews and I link them to Amazon it's I do take time to, to try my best to do the best review I'm not the best at the review but affiliate marketing can give you some type of money now some people go crazy at it right they actually spend uh, money to market their product for people to click on that link Clickbank is one there's a few more in there for affiliate marketing, driving people to that product or service, book, vitamins, whatever. You see them all over in Facebook and stuff like that. I actually bought one, this right here, the VMB Blaster. That's what I use to make up the keywords and things like that for all these videos. That came through a ClickBank. So I know somebody made money off that affiliate link. Affiliate marketing is something you can really get into. I know a little bit of it, but definitely speaking, the core of it is driving people to your product and hopefully it's a product that you do believe in because it's going to come off not genuine when you're when you when you're posting things like that comment down below if you want me to get more into affiliate marketing and what i do and how i set up things to uh make a little money it's a little money but hopefully it's driving traffic number five website flipping i this was amazing when i realized this there are certain websites that you can buy and sell uh real not real estate buy and sell websites it is amazing they have commerce and things like that people are basically building up assets online our website is pretty much a digital asset you can gauge how much traffic they um they have and you can gauge certain uh, many many things my point is it's literally buying up real estate so check out flipper right here those are um ways you can do website flipping you uh, buy it at a really low, hold it for a little bit, let it let it accumulate, things like that. Some of them are already income generating, so you can right away get into making income. However, I I veer off of that because number one, if you buy a health and beauty website, you don't know anything about coding, anything about setting things up, making sure that back end is really, really, really good. You might have an issues and you might have lost your money. So be very careful, do your research when you're buying people's websites. Number six, launching a startup. This I have never done, right? This I've never done. I have friends who have done it. Selling a digital product, right? A lot of people are more into digital products. Or uh, creating a brand new product and using it, uh, making a startup out of it. Letting people come in, invest with you, and I guess people who see your vision and things like that. Facebook was a startup. I am sure every single company, big company, has been a startup at one point. TikTok. Snapchat. Beam was a startup by Casey Neistat. So many, so many things have blossomed and grown from being a startup. I honestly am not that smart. So that probably won't be in my realm of building up a startup. Kudos to you if you can start one up. There's so many products in the Philippines that you can literally bring out here. I believe can make a change in life. There's so many businesses in the Philippines that are working out there that you can potentially bring out here or vice versa that you can literally do some some damage man uh, break the bank pretty much as i said before it's a startup nobody really knows what's going to happen with it and i've never started a startup and i've n i have never launched a startup i try my best to capitalize my own ventures because i don't know if i can take uh, getting an angel investor or other investors and playing with their money on a risk sometimes it's a bit weird for me so I try my best to just like Warren Buffett I only go into things that I can comprehend and 
a lot of it is for me is real estate you know actual dirt real estate and livestock because i i fully understand that and a little bit of the loan process and other businesses that i completely understand but for those of you guys who are very smart figure out what you can launch that can pretty much change someone's life potentially solve a problem and if it's digital even better low overhead right pretty much those are my top six things that you can make money online from some of them i know some of them i don't but if you want me to do the research and do a feasibility study on certain topics comment down below because i would love to do the research because i'm always open to investing in certain things i'm always open to learning new things and understanding and if the time allots as well as the money allots after understanding it maybe even trying it out just like i did with bully master you know that was a shopify thing i'm not afraid to fail so that's why i take certain risk uh like classified right now you know it's a risk i will start uh start pumping facebook ads towards for it so you might see it out there and Hopefully it will drive enough traffic that I can make a decent income off of it. And that's pretty much what I want. I don't need to be a super billionaire. I do need some rolling capital for other investments. So that's pretty much my spiel today. Uh, thank you for your time. This is Gilson Figaro doing my life. Once again, today was Peso Monday and I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below with more topics that we can talk about so I can help you. Uh, I try my best to help you and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.